What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do another educational video on solar. We're going to talk about cadmium telluride solar panels, which is a thin film solar panel technology. Cadmium telluride, or CDTE for short, has the potential to overtake silicon as the big dog in the solar industry. CDTE panels are made up of the elements cadmium and tellurium. Cadmium is very abundant, but tellurium is pretty rare, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. CDTE has one of the lowest costs to produce of any solar panel technology, and is the only thin film technology with lower cost to produce than silicon. Cadmium telluride has the smallest carbon footprint of any photovoltaic technology. What that means is that less carbon pollutants are released into the atmosphere than any other panel technology. It also has the fastest energy payback period, which is less than one year. What that means is it takes less than one year for the cadmium telluride solar panel system to produce enough energy to offset the energy that was used to manufacture it in the first place. The CDTE market segment is dominated by an American company called First Solar. First Solar was originally called Solar Cells Incorporated, and today they manufacture all their cells in Perrysburg, Ohio, and in Germany. That makes them one of the last remaining truly American solar manufacturers. Historically, the average module efficiency for CDTE has only been about 16.4%, which is about on par or maybe slightly less than silicon-based photovoltaics. However, newer technologies made by First Solar now produce efficiencies over 22%. One of the other advantages of CDTE is that it performs better at high temperatures than silicon. This translates to about 5-9% to more energy production per year than a comparable silicon panel. Amazingly, CDTE also outperforms silicon panels in low light and shaded conditions. Also, as CDTE production continues to ramp up and we achieve even greater economies of scale, production costs and also panel costs could continue to go well below silicon solar. Plus, keep in mind, CDTE as a technology is fairly immature, whereas silicon has been mostly tapped out. So we've only barely scratched the surface of the performance limits of CDTE. Another advantage for American consumers is that the CDTE panels are not subject to the solar tariffs that Donald Trump passed in the United States. So while Americans are seeing increased prices on silicon panels, CDTE hasn't budged. And finally, cadmium is a very abundant material. It's actually a waste product of zinc refining and steel production, so there's no shortage of supply of this material. Some of the disadvantages of CDTE are that tellurium is not an abundant material. It's actually very rare. Thankfully, even though it's rare, it's not super valuable because it's not used for very many other things. And it is estimated that as long as we recycle old CDTE panels, we shouldn't ever run out of tellurium. And speaking of recycling, another disadvantage is that cadmium is very toxic. And while the panels themselves pose no health or safety risks or environmental concerns, according to the Department of Energy, it is going to be important that those panels are recycled at the end of their useful life. Thankfully, First Solar knows this and has set up comprehensive recycling programs for us to use. And the last major disadvantage to CDTE is that the panels may not last as long as silicon-based panels. This hasn't been fully documented yet, and we don't know exactly how much less lifespan you can expect than a traditional silicon-based panel, but it must not be that significant because First Solar still has the same warranty on their panels as all of the silicon-based manufacturers do. In other words, they're still guaranteed to produce at least 80% of their production up to 25 years. So there you have it. Now you know why I'm excited about CDTE and why I think it's poised to take over for silicon-based photovoltaics. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe for more educational solar videos in the future.